Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender in just 4 minutes. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by switching from Blender Render to Cycles Render and I click X to delete the default cube. Then add a sphere and add the modifier which is called Subdivision Surface Modifier to increase the amount of uh, polygons. Then uh, go down to Object and then Quick Effects and then add the quick smoke. And then we need to scale the domain, so click S to scale, then S set, and then G set to grab it on the set axis. Now when we play the animation, you will see that the smoke has a very low resolution. So we'll go to the smoke settings, and if you have a slow computer, set it to 120, and if you have a fast computer, set it to 180. And then go down to smoke high resolution, and increase it to 2. And then go to smoke catch, and before we can add the smoke catch, you need to save the file. So we'll make a new file on your computer with we'll save. And then change the end frame to 120 if you want the same result as me. And then click bake to bake the animation. Now this is probably going to take a few minutes, maybe like half an hour. But after the baking is done, you will have the smoke animation. So let's go to the timeline and see what it looks like. And as you can see, the smoke animation works. So now we can go to the next step of the tutorial, which is to add the lighting. So uh, right click to select the lamp. And then go into the lamp settings, change it into a sun, change the size to one. And then click use nodes and increase the strength to around seven. And then for the background color, make it completely white. If you have a GPU, make sure to add it to the device. If not, just keep using the CPU and shift set for a rendered view to see what it looks like when it's rendered. And then let's select the ball as well and add a color to the ball. I decided to add an orange color, but you can add whatever color you want. And the next step is to use the camera. So click numpad zero to see through the camera and then click shift F to use the fly cam and then move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game. And you can turn the gravity on and off by clicking tab. So uh, let's set it here. And when we uh, play the animation, you will see that the smoke moves outside of the frame of the camera. So uh, we need to animate the camera. So let's go to frame 60 and then click I to keyframe the location and the rotation. And then move forward in time on the timeline to let's say 120 and then click Shift F and move around W, A, S and D. And then left click to confirm the uh, position and then the keyframe the location and the rotation once again. Now, if you want to change the type of animation to linear so that the camera has a uh, constant speed, you need to go into the uh, graph editor and then click T to change the interpolation mode to linear. And when we move on the timeline, you will see that the camera has a constant speed. Okay, so let's remove the graph editor and add a new keyframe to make sure that the smoke is within the frame the whole time. And then click I to keyframe the new location and rotation. And now I think the animation looks great. So uh, let's get into the render settings. So uh, click the camera icon, increase the resolution quality to 100%, the frame rate to 30, and then make a new folder for your final render in the output. So just save it wherever you want on your computer, select the folder, and then give the animation a name. And then for uh, render samples, I would set it to around 150 which is the quality of the render. And then for performance, if you have a GPU, set them to 500. If you only have a CPU, just leave them at 64. And then make a test render to see how long it takes to render each frame. Then once you know the render time, just multiply it by 120 and you will know the final animation render time. And let's set the end frame to 120, which is all we need. And uh, I think it looks great, so uh, let's render out the whole animation. Just click animation and it will start rendering. And that's it, new tutorials coming every single week. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.